In the first Injustice game, Wonder Woman was aligned with Superman and the Regime, and when the Regime fell, so did she. But unlike the other members of the Regime who were imprisoned on Strikers Island, Wonder Woman was imprisoned on her home island of Themyscira. I shall now give you a new beginning, a new home on an island paradise where your people will be shielded from the chaotic world of man. We see her running free in Injustice 2, but all the explanation we're giving on how she escaped is... Well, what good are these powers if I can't even help Kal-El? We will, Kara. Just like you and I freed Diana from Themyscira. But the escape is explained fully in the Injustice tie-in comic book series, and this video is going to go over in more detail how Wonder Woman escaped from her prison cell. As I said, Wonder Woman is on Themyscira, shackled in a prison cell with magical chains that were forged by Zeus himself. and that Wonder Woman is unable to escape from, even with her incredible strength. Meanwhile, in the rest of the world, Black Adam is still ruling Karndark, and is secretly hiding Supergirl in his nation. Damian Wayne has recently joined the two, having decided he may be better off with them rather than with his grandfather, Ra's al Ghul, and the three of them have decided to break Wonder Woman out of jail. Since Black Adam and Damian Wayne are both men, it's pretty much impossible for them to sneak onto Themyscira and rescue Wonder Woman, as men aren't allowed there by law and would be arrested or possibly killed on sight. But with Supergirl being female, they have a chance. So they put her on a boat and stage a drowning. Their plan is that Supergirl will pretend to be a woman sailing around the world, and that her boat sinks and she just happens to wash ashore onto the island, and the Amazons then take her in because she needs help. And the plan works and Supergirl was taken in by the new Wonder Woman. It seems Diana has been stripped of the title of Wonder Woman, and her costume has been passed on to Nubia, who is the new Wonder Woman. So from now on, I'll be referring to the Wonder Woman that we know as Diana. The Amazons don't suspect that they're being played, except for one Amazon who is a general on the island. She tells her suspicions to the Queen, but the Queen dismisses her fears. But the general then decides to go behind her back and has two Amazons sneak into her room and use the Lasso of Truth to find out why Supergirl is really on the island. Since the Lasso of Truth compels a person to tell the truth and while they are wrapped in it, it's impossible for them to lie, Supergirl is forced to reveal that she is there to free Diana. Now, if the guards are loyal to the Queen and to Themyscira, they should notify her of this straight away. But only one is loyal and she is knocked out by the other who wants to free Diana as she agrees with Diana's ideals. She then takes Supergirl to a group of rebel Amazons, all of whom want Wonder Woman to be freed. The distrustful general is actually a member of this group, and she wants to know how Supergirl can break Diana out of her prison. And they force her to reveal that she is Kryptonian, and as such has the power to break her out. And so the group, including Supergirl, go to Diana's cell to set her free. Meanwhile, her mother is in Diana's cell talking to her, in hopes she might feel regret for what she has done. And Diana tells her mother that she has no regrets for what she's done whatsoever. And this is when the resistance group comes into the cell. The queen is quite outnumbered, but she is too quick for them, however, and is able to slip by them and sound the guardian horn, which signals to the rest of the island that she is in trouble. And the entire Amazon army then heads to the cell block to stop them. Because of this, a battle of course ensues between the two groups, which involves Supergirl batting the new Wonder Woman aside with relative ease. The rebel Amazons are able to hold off the army while Supergirl and an Amazon warrior named Philippus go in the cell to free Diana. They don't have the key to Diana's shackles, and she tells Kara that they are unbreakable. But Supergirl is a Kryptonian, and as such has incredible levels of strength. Her cellular structure is a shade more dense than yours. She metabolizes sunlight more efficiently. Bottom line, she might be more powerful than you. And she is able to use her strength to crack them apart. Diana is in shock since the shackles can't even be broken by a god. And Supergirl comments that it's fortunate then that she is not a god. At this point, the new Wonder Woman, Nubia, comes into the cell. But Diana is free, and she wants her armor back. So Diana, along with Supergirl and Philippus, fight the new Wonder Woman. And of course, they defeat her, knocking her unconscious. Diana then retakes the Wonder Woman costume and armor. The rebel Amazons are far too outnumbered to win the battle, and so they retreat into the cells, and Supergirl and Diana use their super strength to destroy one of the prison walls and escape through the hole with the other Amazons. But since they're on an island, running from the army isn't really an option, as eventually they'll just circle back around and meet the army again. It's because of this that the General wants Supergirl and Diana to fly away, as rescuing Diana was the point of the mission. But Supergirl refuses to leave them, and tells them to get on a nearby ship. The Amazons don't think there's time, but Supergirl tells them to either get on the ship, or she'll put them on the ship. However, there is no time to weigh anchor and set sail, so instead Supergirl grabs the front of the boat and flies them out to sea, 
rescuing both Diana and the Amazons that helped her to break out of prison. So the rebels escape the island, and from there they all make it to Karnduk. And that is how Wonder Woman escaped prison and joined up with Supergirl, Nightwing and Black Adam. I've got to admit that having a divide in the Amazons is a great idea. In the first game the Amazons all seemed of one mind, so it's nice to see that some of them can actually think for themselves, and decide if they agree with the regime's ideals or not. But what do you think of this turn that the story has taken? And what do you think the group will do now Wonder Woman has escaped? An attempt at breaking out Superman seems the most likely, but what are your thoughts on this? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.